Why just buy one when you can buy Kiss fans, welcome to It's All For You Demon, celebrating the fun being a Kiss fan. Welcome to the Wax Night Basement, Waxing Kiss, and Rock and Roll Nostalgia. Today, discussing the solo albums. I did a video a long, long, a long, long time ago, a long time ago about the solo albums. Today, I'm really going to focus on the marketing and advertising of said solo albums. I'm a huge fan of advertising. Marketing was like my minor in college and ever since I was a little kid I have been in love with like movie trailers and basically it's if you look at my musical taste growing up I'm a huge fan of like marketing pushes. First band I loved as a kid was Quiet Riot you know cool album covers, mascot, next band, Motley Crue, boom, a miniature kiss, next band, Van Halen, awesome logo, awesome front man, and then get into kiss and they are pretty much a marketing advertising dream. They not only sell the music, they sell a product, they sell an image, they sell themselves, and I'm a huge, huge fan of that. Thus, I am a big fan of advertising, and a big fan of the solo albums advertising. The push of buy a four pack. And no argument here or anywhere that the marketing of the solo albums was genius. You know, the paintings, the covers, all symbolic, all similar, identical to each other. Such a cool idea and such a wonderful opportunity for advertising and marketing. I, myself, am a firm believer in the band did not do solo albums because the band was going to break up as explained in Extreme Close Up and as often talked about Ace and Peter wanted out. The save of the band was that we would all do solo albums. I've never bought that strictly because of this. The book, Kiss, FAQ, states an important thing most fans do not realize is that Casablanca was already thinking about solo albums from the band back in 1976. A contract signed by the band commencing January 1st, 1977 made several specific references to solo albums. That alone has always made me believe that these albums were a marketing plan from Casablanca. We sell... A million Kiss records? Let's sell four million in one punch. Do solo albums. Every member of this band sings. Every member of this band writes songs. Let's do this. And what a wonderful advertising opportunity. One of the very first pieces of merch I ever got. My little hands on when I was a teenager is a very clever piece of advertising for these albums. And it is this, framed on my wall, this record store flyer. Sent to record stores back then to sell a four pack, to sell all four albums at once in these solo album bags. I saw this advertisement probably before I knew that solo album bags existed. And I was sold on this advertising. This is classic. Suck you in. I have to buy all four. My buddy Todd grabbed a lot of these. Like a big stack at a flea market back in the 80s. And he graciously gifted me one. And it has been framed with this advertisement ever since. It is the classic marketing scheme. It is brilliant. You get a kid that maybe just once Jean, and they go into the record store that day and they see, well, they're selling all four. 
in these bags, boom. Parents, good luck because your child is going to beg or was going to beg for all four. Such a great idea, such a cool marketing scheme, especially these bags, because I'm sure you didn't get these bags unless you bought all four. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I only imagine you got the bag if you got all four. And man, I love this advertisement. It's so, like, it's something like Coors would do. It just looks like a Coors ad. Like, you got, you got this chick standing there holding like a six pack of beer, but instead she's holding a, a four pack of the Kiss Solo Records and such a cool, cool piece, advertising piece, a little slice of history, such a cool gift from my buddy Todd way back in the day. I always appreciate this. Framed on the wall in the Wax Night basement. One of my favorite pieces. I absolutely love it. There you go, just a super quick vlog tonight on advertising of KISS. The new James Bond trailer came out today and I was I was pretty uh, hot faced for it and so I was that is sitting there thinking, I'm a sucker for advertising. Like, I love it. And got me thinking like, what KISS advertising do I love? And immediately thought of the sell a four pack ad. So that is my question for you tonight. Celebrating the fun of being a KISS fan down in those comments. Leave me a comment. What is your favorite KISS advertising campaign? Anything you want. What is your favorite KISS marketing push? KISS advertising campaign. What's your favorite? Leave them down in those comments. Let's celebrate the fun of being a KISS fan down in those comments. If you want to be a pen pal with me, details below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for waxing KISS nostalgia with me. Let's do our ever favorite ending, our Bob Barker PSA for those animals. Be good to your babies. Spay and neuter and microchip. They look at me like I'm a fool. I am. But, thank you for hanging with us. Take care, be safe. We will talk to you soon. Good. Night. <laughs>